Investigators are looking into weather factors in the helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter and seven others to former FAA official Scott Brenner. Scott, what are you piecing together here looking at this? Well, I, I, if you look at kind of the, the flight track, and, you know, we're fortunate nowadays that there's a lot of private companies out there that give you real-time flight data. It appears the pilot took off. Uh, was everything was under control? He got to Burbank, got delayed at Burbank for a little while um, uh, to let some other uh, commercial flights come in. And then, as he took off, he asked the uh, tower to to uh, provide tracking for him, which means that the control tower would then track him specifically and give him, you know, elevations and all those other important factors. He was flying too low for that because the the radar just doesn't reach down that low. So he continued on to a flight. And it appears maybe he got caught up in the clouds or something because there was a lot of fog in the area. Obviously, we still don't know yet, uh, but it doesn't appear there was uh, any kind of, uh, of, of uh, problems with the aircraft uh, because he was communicating with the tower, never expressed any kind of problems with the helicopter. It just appears he got stuck in the, uh, the fog and maybe lost, uh, well, he got, suffered from the classic spatial orientation. Do you, do you request tracking, Scott? If it's foggy, in other words, if, you, if you're having trouble seeing, period. Correct. So in his case, and I don't know the timeline yet, and maybe you don't as well, what is the rule of thumb? In conditions like that, I've heard others report they, they wouldn't fly, or others were saying this was a very, you know, quick descending fog at that. Do, do you know what, 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 what are some of the rules of thumb? It's really, I mean, at the end of the day, the pilot has to, to, to use his best judgment. Is it safe to fly or is it not safe to fly? The fog, they said, was around 800 feet, uh, a ceiling of 800 feet. So as long as he was staying below that, I guess he was fine. I guess the problem got into is he got closer to his destination. He got up a little higher because of the mountainous terrain in that area. Um, and from the flight data, it looks like he takes a sharp left and descends quickly. And that could result from a variety of things. But a lot of pilots will tell you when they get into a situation where they're flying just by, uh, by you know, looking around and they get stuck in a cloud or in fog, they lose that ability to orientate. Even though they may have data coming up from their, their screen, they get this tendency to like lean left or lean right or pull up. And every pilot has a different thing. So a lot of times the, what they'll try and do is just like, going, okay, I got stuck in this mess. How do I quickly get out of here? He appears to like try to take a left turn and dive down to get out of the fog, and that's where he impacted the mountain. Amazing. Um, Scott, thank you for that. We appreciate it. Absolutely, Neil. Scott Brenner.